Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. Today I'm out here in Santa Barbara, which is outside of Los Angeles, one of the great cities in Southern California. Really great beach town as well. And Santa Barbara has some cool food spots as well, which is why I'm here to cover some of the great uh, food spots in Santa Barbara. And I'm gonna kick it off by starting with this Mexican restaurant, which I heard is the highest rated Mexican restaurant in this city at this restaurant called Los Agaves, which specializes in contemporary Mexican food, infusing the best of traditional with modern in a pretty cool setting in a pretty cool part of town. So if you guys wanna see what the highest rated Mexican restaurant looks like here in Santa Barbara, then you must stick all the way to the end of this episode so I can show you this Mexican food feast that I'm about to have. And also, if you're new to this channel, then do take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell because I put out these food videos weekly that you just don't want to miss out. Some, some of the best you'll find on the internet. So while you're doing that right now, I see the restaurant up ahead of me. It's time to go in. This is a really cool thing they got going on here at this restaurant. It's been here for about 12 years, so this is the first location. They do have four other Los Agaves restaurant as well, all over the Southern California area, and hopefully they'll have one in LA one day soon. So like I said, contemporary Mexican food, kind of like fast casual, so you order up here at the counter, and then you can see the kitchen is right next to it where they're making all the magic in the kitchen. All that wonderful Mexican food, fresh made every single day. How exciting is that? This is all the meats that they have here going for, like the fajitas and the carne, Asada, and yeah, the, all of it is being barbecued on top of this grill. Okay, they're frying some of the chips as well. That looks so good. So it just really amazes me how much meat that they prepare before the opening of the restaurant. All the sausages, all the chicken, all the steak just on standby so that it can be used for multi-purposes here at the restaurant, but you feel like you just want to eat it all, like in the buffet or something, right before it comes to your table. Okay, so this is my first one that I decided to get today, a house specialty called the Agaves Enchiladas. Enchiladas are very popular in Mexican cuisine, but this is their own little twist on it. It has fish and shrimp, red pepper and onions topped with this chipotle sauce. All around on the top that's salmon pink colored, and it comes with a side of rice and some healthy salad. I've never seen an enchilada that looks like this before. This is a very new experience to me. That's oh, good. Chipotle creamy flavor all around. Not too spicy as well. Not too spicy, which is a good thing. And inside is the shrimp. I taste it. Wow, even the salad tastes nice. Raisins and tangerine. It's very refreshing and it's sweet too. I love it. And here is another popular Mexican dish. This is called the carnitas. It's made of pork, obviously. It's very simple. It's pork that's been cooked and it looks crispy on top. And it comes with some beans and some rice on the side and got some peppers as well. Oh, I'm gonna get the crispiest part of the carnitas. It's good. <laughs> the carnitas are so soft inside. And then the top is crispy all around, like eating into a cracker. That is so amazing. I love the, the flavor of the pork. It doesn't have a porky type of a taste to it. It tastes really nice overall. And of course, I want to try some of this rice to see what the rice is like. Wow, the rice is good. For some, some Mexican restaurants I go to, I taste the rice and I'm like, yeah, that's whatever. But this place, the rice is actually pretty good. That's a good sign because if they can make even the basic things right, you've come to the right Mexican restaurant. I'm off to a good start so far. 
And this is called the Salmon Tropical. This one is not a typical menu item. It's one of the specials of the restaurant. So I decided to get it today. It's not really a traditional Mexican, but I think it's still gonna be really good. Salmon is buried underneath all this mango sauce and the mango along with the shrimp. And it comes with rice and salad. Wow, this salmon, it breaks apart so easily. I don't even have to cut it. You just use your fork and you break into it and it's already right there, ready for you to eat. The salmon is extremely soft. It like melts in your mouth. Very high quality. Okay, what about the shrimp though? This is very tropical. That's all, that's the best word I can say. It tastes like something that could have come out of like the Caribbean with that Islander influence and some of that, maybe even like Hawaiian or yeah, definitely some Latin influences here as well. But overall, it tastes great though. I love the sauce, love the shrimp, love the melt in your mouth salmon. It's so good. So if you guys like salmon and shrimp, they got your dish right here. This is their steak dish, a very popular one. That one right there is a six ounce New York steak and it has this stuff like Anaheim pepper. I wonder if it's actually from Anaheim. And it also comes with avocados, some chorizo, and some beans as well, and some more of these veggies right here. So here we go with the steak. Ooh, wow, I like how it cuts so easily. This is high quality. It's not like a raggedy old steak, and you can tell because it has that feel to it when you cut into it. But then when you bite into it, that's the question. Very soft. Wow. Very well seasoned too. Not too salty. And I love the flavor, the natural flavor of the meat. That's what you eat this for. If you want the natural flavor of the meat, which I'm assuming is like a New York skirt steak, this is the one you have to get. And it does come with these chorizos on the side as well. And uh, so you get two choices of meat going on right here. Look at this grand one. This is called the Mocha Hete. This is another one of the standouts of the restaurant from what I heard. Doesn't it look so big and amazing? Look at this stone pot that it's a little hot still so you gotta kind of be careful. I decided to get mine mixed. You can get seafood, you can get beef inside, or you can get a mixture of everything. So you do see some of the seafood on the outside. You see the chorizo, the sausage over there, avocados, bell pepper, fish, and there's some beef underneath all of this sauce as well. It looks so good, huh? All this homemade salsa sauce. It looks like a volcano that's about to explode with all of this delicious Mexican magic. Oh, fish is good. It just melts in your mouth. Next thing you know, bam, it's gone. The beef is probably not going to melt as fast as the fish. Mm. Wow, that beef is pretty killer. So far, everything in this mocajete is good. The sauce and all the meat. Yeah, it's good. They have a pretty good recipe going on right here. This is something you definitely should order when you are here at this place. It's such a attraction, really. This is something you have to check out when you're here. And it tastes great, too. Of course, and I, I cannot leave without having the desserts, right? I decided to get two of their popular ones. Here is the flan. It's all homemade, fresh stuff involved, like the strawberries on top. And then their house churros. Look how beautiful. This thing is, there's like about nine pieces here total with this caramel sauce all over it. Doesn't that look so good? You have to really be careful because they make it fresh here. So it is like really burning hot. Maybe you want to wait for about a minute to let this cool down. Wow. Oh man. That is good. There's nothing better than a fresh made churro because it's crunchy, it is soft, it is very warm on the inside. And I love the caramel glaze that's all over the top with the strawberry, it gives it an interesting flavor profile. So if you come to this restaurant, you're probably wondering what you should order. Definitely get the carnitas. That one was pretty killer. It's, it's like one of those dishes where, especially if you love pork or even if you don't love por pork that much, uh, I think it will probably change your mind. It is so, so delicious. And also the mo mocajetes definitely taste great and is quite a visual feast as well. So definitely get that. But 
So far, everything that I've tried here was really good. And of course, you need to get the desserts, like the churros right here, super awesome. So if you're in the Santa Barbara area and you're looking for a great Mexican restaurant, then I think you found it here at Los Agaves, which, like I said, specializes in contemporary uh, Mexican food that tastes really great all around. So check this place out when you're here next time. All right, guys, so before I close out this episode, I want to give a shout out to two of the staff right here. This is Henry, the manager, and this is Christian, the owner here of this wonderful restaurant. So when you come into this restaurant, look out for these guys. Tell them that you saw this episode and they'll take really good care of you. Right, guys? Yes, of course. Yeah, come on in, guys. Thank you, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the show. You know what to do if you like what I'm doing. Give me a thumbs up. Also, comment on the section below if you've been here. I would love to hear your story about it. And also, please subscribe so that you can get these videos on a weekly basis. So I'll see you guys in the next video.